So, nine weeks post-op. Um, this is where I'm at. I finally figured out that like water is just way too dense for me to tolerate easily. Um, it took me like seven weeks to realize that my daily feelings of ugh was to water. Um, it's weird because pre-op, all I did was drink water. Water was probably one of my favorite things. I was drinking like a hundred ounces a day. Um, if you ever saw those people walking around with like the big gallons of water, I was your girl. Um, I went on vacation a couple of weeks ago and I fell off track just a little bit. I didn't eat anything bad, but since I've been back, I have been struggling with getting in my calories daily. Um, I'm trying to average about 800 a day and I, I'm lucky if I get 150 some days. Um, I'm getting my protein in, but I'm trying to wean myself off of shakes and get my protein from food, but it's hard to get your protein from food when you're not hungry. Um, I've realized that beef jerky is literally my best friend. I can eat it, not feel sick, get my protein in, feel like I'm actually chewing food and I'm doing a good thing for myself, right? Cause it's meat, it's protein, you know what I mean? Doesn't have a lot of carbs. Uh, I had steak the other day and then, um, this afternoon I had sausage and it was great. I had maybe two ounces, um, all together of both and it felt pretty good. The other night I made a rotisserie chicken salad and during my class, cause I teach during my class at work, I literally kept giving them breaks just so I could leave and eat a bite of it. So I was like, that's not very responsible, but I was happy that I finally found something that I actually wanted to eat. Oh, and probably the best news ever. And this, I want to show you guys this. I actually have a clavicle now. Like you could probably see it just a little bit and my double chin is gone. But this is the, probably the thing I'm most proud of. I would stand up right now, but I'm wearing a shirt and I don't have pants on and there's a mirror behind me and y'all don't need to know me like that. But I also have hip bones. I haven't had hip bones in like 10 years, y'all. I haven't had hip bones in 10 years. That's that's insane, right? So, um, I don't know. To anyone who watches my videos and you're in the early stages, it's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie. The first couple of days to the first couple of weeks sucked for me. I mean, they were horrible. Um, I wasn't hungry, but I felt like everyone was two weeks post-op and they were losing like 60 pounds and they were up at work and they were running. And I was at work, but I was working like three hours a day. And all I could do was drink liquids and eat jello and some days I couldn't even get out of bed and I was super weak and my gas pains, I felt like they lasted forever, but it's going to get easier. Like how you feel at one or two weeks post-op is not going to be how you feel at week seven or eight. Um, probably at week four or five mark, I was feeling like I made a big mistake. And you guys probably noticed that from my videos because at four or five mark, I was having problems with overeating. I kept getting to the point where I would just eat and eat and eat. And I didn't care. Like, I didn't care how much I ate. And when you start actually tracking what you eat, you realize you don't eat much. So I'm like, oh, I'm stuffing my face. And then I check my app because even though I was stuffing my face, I was still counting the food. I had eaten like 300 calories and I felt like a pig. Um, <laughs> but not being fat and overweight, I feel like it was a fair trade to being able to do more. Like at weeks four and five, all I thought about was like, man, everyone has this big plate of food and they're eating all of it. And oh my God, I'm so jealous. But I do this all over again at the drop of a dime. Like, I don't even care. You can keep the fat. 
and a big plate of food. And I'll have my one ounce of cauliflower and my two ounces of shredded beef and move on with my life. Another thing that just dawned on me this week, weight loss surgery is not for sissies. People feel like you get weight loss surgery and then you just drop the weight and you just look amazing. Oh my God, I didn't do anything to get this. This shit is hard. Like it's 10% physical and it's like 90% mental game. It's 90%. You would think the fact that I paid almost $10,000 to get this done would deter me from eating shit that I'm not supposed to eat. It doesn't. You would think the compliments would uh, would make me feel like I made the best decision. They don't. I had to fix what was going on in here to fix everything on the outside. When they say it starts from within, they're not lying. It starts from within. So I had to get myself together mentally before I can get myself together physically. So the best way I did that was going to see my therapist, um, joining support groups in person and online, meeting up with people who have actually gone through what I've gone through. And m probably my biggest therapy is this channel. Um, being able to talk about this process has really, really helped me overcome some of the things that I have going on. I also learned that I really fucking love myself. Like I really do. And I know each of us does. Like we would not have chosen weight loss surgery for ourselves if we didn't have love for ourselves in there somewhere. Like I have not been treating myself kindly for, it feels like hundreds of years, but it stops now. Like it stopped when I made the commitment to surgery, but now is when I get to shower myself with love and good care good food, healthy food, good portions, good choices, exercise, and the right mental thinking, awareness, self-forgiveness, self-acceptance, and self-reliance, and honestly, accountability. And it's funny that I owe it all to a little surgery that <laughs> took away my ability to drown out everything around me with food. I'm thankful for it. Happy nine weeks.